In this video, we'll have a quick look at using the play sound component and a few ways you can use it to boost the volume in your Game Maker builds. As with all components, you can add them to any object you like in the Game Maker. But for this demonstration, we want to get this radio working for our party. First, let's look at the component by itself. Click the object you want to play the sound and use the properties panel on the right of the screen to navigate to add component. When the component window pops up, select play sound. This will add the component to your object and it'll now have some more options to choose from. To add a sound, click the field next to sound to play. This will open the select sound window where you can choose from a range of sound effects and music. Note that for the moment, you can't add custom sounds to this selection, but there's still a lot of great sounds that you can use and put to great effect. For this example, we'll pick a music track and you can see it's now been added to the component. Now we need to set the rest of the parameters for the sound. So we'll open edit logic to make sure we see all of the available options. You can see we can adjust the sound range, which is indicated by the yellow ring around the object. This variable's maximum range is defined by the magic gem. Although we'll see in a minute that some of the options you can choose mean that it'll play regardless of the distance to the player. The next setting is loop. Setting a sound to loop means that it'll keep playing once triggered. If you leave the loop toggled to off, then the sound of a piece of music or effect will only play once the whole way through until it's either triggered again or paused. Further down the list, we have 3D sound. This will make the sound change volume the closer or further away from the avatar the object is, and it'll pan the sound in response to the location of the player. This means if you're standing to the right of the object emitting the sound, you'll hear the sound as though it's coming from the left. And if you move around the origin point of the sound, the direction of the sound will change as well. Toggling 3D sound off means the chosen sound will play at the same volume regardless of the distance or the orientation of the player. For this example, let's have 3D sound turned off by selecting false. Next up, we have play condition. Now we need to be able to turn the music on. To do this, we have a few options. The play sound component can either be triggered by setting play on start, which triggers the music as soon as the player loads into the game, or you can use play on receive message, which means the component will listen for a custom message before it triggers the music or sound effect. This allows the play sound component to be triggered up close or at a distance and in response to a number of different circumstances. Finally, you can choose play on player interact, which will trigger when the player clicks on the object using E, which sends the default interact message. To keep it simple for this example, we'll just use play on interact. The last option here is message interruptible. If set to true, you can set the message to stop, which means the next time the sound is played, it'll start again from the beginning, or message to pause, which means the sound will pick up from where it was interrupted the next time it's triggered to play. But we'll leave those for a separate video. For the moment, let's jump in to give this setup a test. You can see that we can turn the radio on by pressing E, and our sound can be heard even if we move away from the location of the radio. And there you have it, with a few quick clicks, we're set up and ready to party. If you use the sound component, make sure to join the Discord channel and share your progress. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the metaverse.